Welcome back, everybody. Here we are behind the scenes, and I brought you know who. Leo's with me. Just want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you to everybody for subscribing. You've somehow taken the channel over 200 subscriptions. Greatly appreciate that. And yeah, just a little thank you from Leo himself. There's the mascot of the channel. So I do appreciate everybody subscribing, letting me know that you like certain types of content on the channel, letting me know that I'm trending towards the right direction. Uh, I know a lot of you have come from the Zelda content. Some of you came from the Final Fantasy content, or more specifically that I'm doing these ranking series, I'm starting them. But there is a subsection of subscribers. I'm not sure where you came from because I couldn't trace you to anything. And I'm just curious if you're not here for the food for thought, the Zelda, or the rankings, what is it on the channel that you've enjoyed? And I'm asking this also because I want to continue to make content that the audience enjoys, right? I could keep on doing things for myself, but, and look, don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed every single video that I've published, but I wanna to continue to cater to the audience. So, oh, and before I move on, I wanna shout out one particular person in the Final Fantasy video. They commented, hey, don't forget me, I was one of the first 100 subs. And you know what, why not? Little shout out for you. Unfortunately, I can't verify your name right now because I don't have internet access, but I'll post your comment in the video. And speaking of crediting people and shouting people out, you know, there have been some really good tips in the Zelda videos. I'm getting ahead of myself here, but if I do use any of the tips in future videos that have appeared in my comment section, I wanna do right by you and at least credit you for bringing it to my attention because, you know, why not? So let's take a look at what is coming. Usually in these behind the scenes videos, I'll lay out the future pipeline, what's coming up next, the roadmap. And then I'll also take a look at some of the videos that I've made, some of the challenges I've faced, things that I thought I could have improved on, and just reworks and improvements and things of that nature. So let's get through what is coming because I have a little something for everybody. First of all, all the people have been here since day one who like those discussions, who like the Food for Thought playlist. And for those of you who haven't checked it out yet, if you want these discussions on other aspects of gaming, not necessarily centered on the games themselves, but you know, what makes games good? Uh, what is it about us getting addicted to certain games? How do we clear backlogs and things of that nature? I just finished recording a video on how do we critique games. So that is kind of coming off of me having the Final Fantasy video and the eruption that took place in the comments with all these back and forth opinions. And it made me think I can take something constructed, constructive out of there and turn some of the negativity into a good video. So that is coming, it'll be published after this. For those of you who are here because of Zelda and who enjoy the Zelda content, and also those of you who are maybe waiting for Zelda content to lessen, uh, it will come to a close at some point. I've got two more tips videos coming, like I've alluded to before. Tips for the abilities, tips for specific combats and specific enemies. And then you'll all know that Zelda's kind of been wrapped up when I do my third and final review of the game. So I've done the 20 hour mark, I've done the 100 hour mark, and the last one will come when I finally beat the game. So at that point, once I beat Zelda, you might still see the odd sprinkling of some combat videos because I do enjoy choreographing those and I do enjoy, you know, grinding those combats out until they're as close to perfect as I can get them. I'm going to shift Zelda to the background. I'll keep on playing it in my free time and little bits of my free time. And I'll finally start on new games for the ranking videos. The ranking videos are going to take quite some time because there, for every series that I can think of, there's at least two more titles that I have to play. But I'm going to start prioritizing Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon Scarlet, and then that will allow me to do ranking the Pokemon series. And I'll just keep on going from there using the rankings for what priority I assign those games. Now, in between Zelda and the next ranking video, because there will be probably a couple of months there before I have the Pokemon games done, and before I can actually make the video, I'm going to revisit some of the games from my top 50, some of my favorite games of all time, and I'm going to do a couple more video ideas on those that I've had sitting for a while. Just different ways of looking at your favorite games and different ways of critiquing them. All right, a little bit of feedback now on the Final Fantasy video, and this will wrap up this video. I'm losing my voice here yet again. So the reception was generally positive, and obviously it brought in so many subscribers, and I do 
appreciate that and I am grateful for it. I am a little bit flabbergasted though that one quarter of everybody who took the time to leave an impression left a negative impression. And what I mean by that, I'm referring to the likes and dislikes as impressions here. They watch the video or they get a little bit in or they don't even watch it because they read a comment. Somebody says, oh, you think Final Fantasy IX is so bad? And so they read a comment like that and they go, I didn't even bother watching the video. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, your loss, I guess. Go ahead. So it was so shocking to me that 25% of people would go out of their way to dislike the video. And we all know it's because they disagreed or they disliked my opinions. I realize there are things that I can improve in the video <clears throat> when I do other rankings and when I do other series. I can clean up the transitions between the different categories and I can make more distinct stops, more distinct gaps as I go from the awards, well, award to award, etc. I can clean up the music and I can probably inject a little more storytelling because I think the reason why everybody clicks on these different videos, if you wanted just the rankings, you could look it up on IGN or you could look it up on text. If you want somebody to talk about the games, you're more interested in their experiences, right? And for the sake of time, when I recorded that Final Fantasy video, I cut out most of my storytelling. I had things that I wanted to say about Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy II, Final Fantasy VIII, that, again, just for the sake of time, I omitted them from the video. So I think when I go to the other series, I'm gonna try to make a little more time for those, even if the video does run one hour, like, whatever. Once you're after 40 minutes, does it even matter if it goes to an hour at that point? Maybe, maybe not, I'll find out. The tragic thing is that storytelling probably would have been a little more meaningful or a little more important in a video like Final Fantasy where I know my opinions are all over the place, where they're so counterculture, all right? Um, but I didn't do it, and it is what it is. If any of you want to hear some of those Final Fantasy stories, I'm sure they'll come up at another point in the future. Uh, anyways. The other surprising thing about the video is a couple people took time to comment that I was not being genuine, that I was being dishonest, that I was trolling, or that I was just doing it for views. I mean, those comments couldn't be further from the truth. If you click on two of my videos on this channel, you'll see that I have the same behavior, the same mannerisms across the two. And I promise you, it's the same across all the videos on my channel. Whatever, that was one that, I mean, I guess when you click on a new channel, you're kind of expecting a little bit of bravado or somebody to ham it up for the camera. But uh, I think I'm giving these people too much credit that they couldn't recognize it as being genuine is a fault of theirs and not a fault of mine. So, so that's that. And then the other swarm of people, the swarm of gnats in this comment section were the fans of Final Fantasy XIV. And some of you did a really good job of just sticking it to them and saying, why are you surprised that Final Fantasy XIV is not talked about? Why are you surprised that people don't play those online games? They're online games. They have subscription services. They have different methods for acquiring and playing them that not everyone is interested in. And the thing that's just baffling about these people, first of all, they are staunch defenders of their games. I mean, to the fact that they go into other videos and they're, they're causing a little bit of an uproar. And I get it, because maybe if I was a fan of them, I would be curious about seeing where the games rank, but clearly it's a trend. Clearly most people are not talking about the games, and at that point you just have to accept, I like Final Fantasy XIV, it's up here in my own rankings, it doesn't really matter what other people say. But no, they've got their issues, their deep-seated issues, and they come into the comments section, and it was just crazy what some of them could say. One of them was like, um, you know, it's a good thing you didn't talk about it because I don't even think you're qualified to do so. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, sorry, Lord Fauntleroy. I'm not going to talk about the games you like ever again. And then um, another couple people, when they were a little bit surprised that I wasn't talking about Final Fantasy XIV, I invited them to share what they like about the game so other people could see that and maybe be intrigued enough to play for themselves. Only one person took me up on that offer. The other them, the others were just silent. And you know what? This is a Final Fantasy video. And this is where most people being negative lose all credibility for me. Because I have an awards section where I'm highlighting other games. I'm talking about the games that I aren't even winners in... Or, 
In the awards section, I'm highlighting games that don't rank high in my rankings. So there's a, this nice air of positivity. That's not me being a Care Bear and treating everyone like we're in a hug box. At the end of the video, and some people did watch the very end, at the end of the video, I say, I'm not gonna be too negative about the stories because this video is meant to celebrate Final Fantasy. So you would think you could take those two clues, award section for other games, and a chance to celebrate the series. And they would do that in the comments section rather than continuing to disparage me or whatever they do. And you know what? Some of the milder people who just disagree with me, obviously that's okay because I want to see different opinions. It's the people who are offended by me that I'm just shocked by. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get that same kind of visceral reaction from anyone in my future rankings videos because I don't think my tastes disagree that much from the norm, but we'll see. It's going to be really curious to see from the different series, Pokemon, Zelda, Halo, The Witcher, whatever I get around to making, who is going to be the most uptight fan base and who's going to be the most agreeable. <laughs> so I just take a little bit of pleasure in anticipating that. Anyways, that's about it for behind the scenes. Hopefully you didn't mind my little ranting section. Felt like I had to get that out of my system. I'm always gonna continue to be authentic in the videos that I make. I'm always gonna put video content out that I enjoy making. And again, thank you to everybody who's enjoyed the various types of content on the channel. If you wanna see more of anything, let me know in the comments section and I will see you all in the next video.